Hey, good afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Marla and I just want to come live and let's play a game this afternoon. Um, and let's pretend that you get a phone call um, from and the voice on the other side says, Hey Jane, I got really good news for you. We just won a trip to Hawaii. There are only four people that can go on this trip. Myself, my son, and my husband. We will leave tomorrow and we will live in paradise for five full days. And we will leave tomorrow at 8.45 and we will live in luxury in Waikiki at our Waikiki Resort for five full days and we will live the life of a millionaire for five days and we will live on the beach for five days but remember Jane we leave tomorrow at 8 45 now I want you to tell me how many of you comment below and show me a show of hands how many of you would respond, I can go, yes. Okay, let's keep going. And let's suppose you accept it. And then it dawns on you that you have some things to do. You have this and you have that and you have this and you have that. Then you turn around and you tell your husband, shoot, honey, I don't think we can do this. And then your husband says, whoa, girly holds up for a second he takes out a sheet of paper and says now what's the first thing that you have to do and then and then what's the next thing after that is that all how many of you can honest to goodness say from the bottom of your heart that from now to the next 24 hours you can get more done in three or four or five days? Comment below. Why don't you go to Hawaii tomorrow? Why? If your mind says, tomorrow I will go to Hawaii. If I get this done today, did you know that if you schedule it, it can be done? and you could lay it out and you could just go in a matter of weeks anywhere in the freaking world I think that most people have this erroneous idea about what it means to be successful what it means to be a success what is success and what is life and what life is for People don't have goals, and I do have goals, but I'm going to tell you one thing that I just recently learned. There are four things that prevent you from actually doing anything. One, you haven't been sold. Two, you don't know how. Three, you're afraid. You're afraid to take the risk, because if you freaking make the goal, if you set the goal, you're afraid that you're not going to meet the goal. Four, you have a poor self-image of yourself and you think you don't deserve it. And for some reason or another, you say, no, I don't deserve it. Oh, I don't really need it. Excuses, excuses. Um, but yeah, goals are important and I've always had a goal. But I think what a lot of times happens is I haven't been sold on the goal. And I haven't really, like, really, I don't really care about it. <laughs> um, or, and other times, I've had a poor self-image of myself. And it boils down to one thing, and I will tell you what it boils down to, and I just figured it out. Um, are you wondering, are you a wandering genera generality? Or are you a meaningful, specific? Think about that question. How many of you watching me today 
are in sales. How many of you sell something? Rodham Fields, um, uh, Origami Owl, um, Tupperware, uh, whatever. I'm. But really, is it that you don't have time, or you don't, or you lack the direction? I think most people lack the direction, and they don't know what to do with their time because you and I have the same amount of time. We have the same amount of time. If you wanted to do something today, let's say you wanted to host a party, a Tupperware party, and you did it for 30 minutes, you can do it if you want to. You can't tell me that you don't have the time because we have 24 hours in a day. We have the same amount of time. You have to schedule it, and you have to have a goal and a purpose. And, you, and, and one more thing that I also realized, how can you hit a target if you don't see your target. So if you visualize in your head that, okay, I'm gonna wear a tiara next year. I'm gonna wear a tiara next year. Yes, I am. I'm gonna wear a tiara next year. I am going up there and I'm gonna wear it. Oh yeah. Guess what? I am be. Just make it. If I keep it on my mind, then guess one, one more thing. You have to help people in order to get what you want. You have to help people get what they want in order for you to get what you want. So if you help Susie over here, Susie is going to help you get what you want. But if you deny helping Susie, Susie is going to be like, oh, I'm going to help somebody else. You know, she's not going to help you. And you're going to miss out. One more thing. In order to be effective, a goal of a goal, it must affect change. Yep. Your attitude, and I just figured this out, and it's for the time that I've come back from Tulsa, all I've been doing is making sure that my mind is positive. When something makes, gives me a negative attitude, I immediately switch it and I go read a book or I go listen to a podcast and I listen to it until my mind switches back to positive. It is so hard because we live in a world that is negative. Everything is negative and it's so hard to stay positive when everything around you is negative. So, I want to end with one thing. Just decide what one goal you want and the rest will take care of itself. So, definite, predetermined goals, put it in writing and look at it every day. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do the goal. You've got to have at least one goal. Just put one goal on the page. And you work to figure it out. And with them, when the time is ready, you will achieve it. And one more thing. You have to keep pushing yourself. Don't ever stop. Stay with it long enough and it will rub off on you. Happiness isn't pleasure. Happiness is victory. And you've got to do things with honesty, faith, loyalty, character, and love. And remember, you can't climb the mountain by yourself. You've got to succeed by bringing others and helping others climb the mountain. Take them with you. And deliberately read the good books. <laughs> Find the good audios. <clears throat> You've got to change your mind so you change your attitude. Keep it positive and keep going for your goal. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. The only can't is right here between your ears. Okay? Anyways, I'd like to see you in Hawaii. So if you like this motivational, please hit the freaking button and join me in Hawaii next year.
join my team. Let's do it. Let's climb that mountain together. And I'll see you at the top. Thank you.